Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to film a declutter. Now a little bit of backstory if you're finding me and you don't usually follow my content. Uh, at the start of the year I renovated my garage and I moved all of my makeup and my filming equipment into the renovated garage. Um, and basically what I discovered is that um, it's so much easier to see my whole collection when it's in these drawers, which is absolutely fantastic. And what I was doing was I was using products and if I discovered something that I no longer wanted to keep, I was actually popping it back in the drawers. And it's got to the point where, especially like this drawer right here and this section just over here where I've got my primers, I can see things in there and I'm like, I'm never going to use you and I want to declutter you. I had this idea that I would film a declutter at the end of the year, get rid of all of the things that I've played with throughout the year and I don't want to keep. And it's just not going to work for me. I'm going to have to find a different way to do like the, hey guys, this is the thing that I'm throwing out because I don't enjoy it. Maybe I'll just chuck things in a drawer and, you know, film something when... I've got enough products, but I don't want them in these drawers. These drawers are a really like happy place for me. All right, so we just had a situation with the cat. He jumped on something that then knocked over a light. Uh, very lucky that I'm in close proximity to the light and I was able to catch it. Um, anyway, I've lost my train of thought. I think I was talking about how my drawers were my happy place but I hate seeing products in there that I don't want to keep. So today I'm going to do a very small declutter. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. So this might be broken up into two videos, hopefully no more than that. Um, but it's just a, a little clean out. We just want to do a little clean out of the things that I know I don't want to keep. So let's get into it. So this is where I keep um, foundations, concealers and primers. I'm not going to go through every single thing individually. I'm just going to pull out the stuff that I know I don't want. Starting with concealers, I have the Temptu SB Concealer Wheel. So that's good with their um, silicon based airbrush machine. I'm going to get rid of it because it's old. I'm also going to get rid of my Colourpop concealers because Mm, look, I think they've changed. I pulled them out. I've had them for a while. I don't know how long, but I pulled them out recently to have a play with them. And I don't know, the consistency seems a little bit um, just not, not right. Uh, everything else is pretty good in there. Um, I probably should try and finish up that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but the rest is good. I've got primers over here. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Niod Photography Fluid Opacity 12%. I've had this for a while. I don't think I ever even used it. Um, I'm going to get rid of the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. This is like a silicon based primer. Not really a fan. Um, I think I'm also going to get rid of the Mecca Cosmetica Illuminating Primer. Um, I'm not really a massive primer fan. Um, I just feel like most of them don't do much for me. This one from Makeup Forever, I've had forever. <laughs> Lol. Um, it's the mattifying one. I'm going to get rid of that as well. Um, what do we got? The Smashbox Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I think I didn't like that. Is this a silicon one? Yes. Okay, that can go. I wasn't a fan. And there was an e.l.f. one. Was it e.l.f.? No, it was Wet n Wild. I wasn't a fan of this um, eyeshadow primer either. I'm one of those people I tend to put like my foundation or a concealer over my eye before I go in with um, like an eyeshadow primer. And this just did not work well um, when it goes over like something that's already down as a base. So they can go. Um, the rest... I'm okay with and they can stay. I think mm, I think I might get rid of the Mecca Max Selfie Skin 2-in-1. It's just not a fave and considering how many foundations I've got here, I feel like I probably shouldn't keep it. Um, 
cover girl. How did I feel about that? I can't even remember. Um, all right. I think I might just get rid of this one. Everything else can hang out for a while. I either like it or I'm not too sure. It might be something that I want to pan. Um, but yeah, we'll leave that one as is. Setting sprays. Um, okay, so... <sighs> Um, I have a problem with setting sprays. Um, I think everything here can stay. Um, what do I not like? Oh, this. Oh, and this. These can go. Um, Inglot Makeup Fixer and the Ben Nye Final Seal. This one's old and look, it's seriously heavy duty. I don't need something like that. Um, and this one just kind of sticky and I didn't really enjoy it. Um, and that makes room for some other things, which is great. Um, okay, this one is from CoverGirl, and it's got alcohol in it. Uh, the NYX one also has alcohol. What's back here? Some minis. Oh my god, is that another NYX one? No, this is Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. Hang on, I'm going to check the ingredients on that. Okay, that one also contains alcohol as a second ingredient, so that can go. Ah, I'm pretty disappointed in my Scandinavia sprays. They also have denatured alcohol as a second ingredient, which means the Urban K ones probably do as well. That's really disappointing. Yep. Damn it. I actually like these. All right. Well, okay. What I can say is I'm not feeling the vibe that I'm ready to get rid of my Scandinavia or my Urban Decay. I feel like they actually work. Um, so I think what I'll do, like this oil control one doesn't have much left. Um, my normal one has quite a bit. I think I might just work on trying to pan them um, and not repurchase them because yeah i don't i don't really want alcohol in my setting spray so these are like eyelining products brows mascaras these are mascaras that um are not in bulky packaging i have those ones in a different area um and these are all unused so let me pull out a few that i don't want to keep I'm going to get rid of those three. I've got a Stiller Huge Extreme Lash, which I'm just not a fan of. Essence, um, I love Extreme Curl and Volume. And this guy, which is like 10,000 years old, it's a L'Oreal Double Duty Mascara. Um, pencils, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, my gel liners they're all right they can stay these are colored pencils they can also and wait that is oh no these are uh, pen liners pen liners okay they can stay they're all good um black eyeliners oh the ColourPop one can go that's really old and then i have a linda holberg and another one um sort of over in my everyday drawer so there's not too many going on there but that can go um these are brow things. Um, okay. Oh, God. This is so old, but I love it. But it's got to go. Um, oh, oh, my God. There you are. Okay, so that's a NARS pencil that I thought I lost. So I'm going to get rid of... These guys, browsing from Benefit in three, it's too dark for me. These guys I've had for a long time, L'Oreal Brow Artist Genius Kit, Brow Bar to Go from Whitening Lightning. I don't even think they're a thing anymore, are they now? Gerard Cosmetics? I don't know. Um, and High Impact Brows, um, Brow Set, which is just multiple shades. Don't need. All right, so these are brow gels and um, pomade type products. I'm going to go through these. All right, these three can go. I've got 3D brow tones in two. I have the L'Oreal 
Brow Artist Plumper. I just don't think that shade's going to be right for me. And I'm also going to get rid of the Cabral in two. I think it's just dried up a little bit. I've had it for a long time. These are brow pencils. Oh, this. I forgot about this. And I really like it. Okay, let's say. Alright, I'm getting rid of the Brow Artist Expert from L'Oreal. This is in the shade Warm Brunette. It's too dark for me. I'm also getting rid of Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. I've panned one of these before. It's not really the right colour for me. And I'm getting rid of these two Essence Eyebrow Designers. I've got Blonde and Brown. Um, they just didn't really transfer, so... Off they go. Here I have liners, coloured liners. Um, Oh, let's be real. I'm not going to fucking use these as liners. I'll keep those two from Jeffree Star, but these two I'm not going to use. Or that one. Oh, but the packaging. No, they can go. All right, the other one I'm going to get rid of is the MAC Roller Wheel Liner in, I don't know, Royal royal there we go i mm, yep no this is a drawer full of random backups so mascaras in bulky packaging backup foundations um mini lipstick stuff like that i'm just gonna chuck some shit out i don't need them All right, stuff that didn't make the cut, uh, mascara, no, I want to keep that, uh, still a stay all day waterproof um, eyeliner, it's in a brown shade, and a goof proof brow pencil in two. I don't need more of these. I've already got two, and I'm pretty sure I've got more in another drawer over here, um, so I'm going to pass that on to someone who can use it. I've got too many. I'm also going to pull out these mini lipsticks so that I don't forget they're in there when I'm doing my lip clean out. Single eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadow type products. Um, this is a lot. I've got glitters as well, pigments. Let's find some shit to get rid of. I'm getting rid of some MAC pigments. I've got like a blackish one there. It's called Dark Soul. There's a gray, which is uh, blue noir, okay. Um, and then I have the white pigment. I'm just not gonna use them. Uh, Astralis Metallics in Lana Del Grey. Um, I'm panning one of these. It takes a long time. This color I'm least likely to wear. I've got a Chi Chi uh, Rock With You eyeshadow pretty but I haven't I bought it years ago and I haven't used it um, I'm gonna get rid of these Revlon uh, photo art no photo ready eye arts um, they just crease on me so badly I'm also gonna get rid of all of my Colourpop supernovas it's not really I'm not really a fan I prefer to keep my stillers um, and I'm getting rid of some singles from NARS I've got like gray shade that one is underworld i've also got this one which is pyrenees i'm getting rid of underworld too and this one is called tropic um, i've had this in the old formula i don't know if these were meant to be reformulated uh but this is no different to what it used to be like um and then i have uh Banquis, Banquis, I oh, don't know. It's a silver. I don't need it. I'm not going to wear it. I can pass it on to someone who might like it. 
this is blush bronzer and blush bronzing palettes. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be happy with all of my bronzers, but I'll take a quick looky. Uh, this one's too light and this one is too dark. And the rest I enjoy. So they can stay. I'm going to get rid of the Wet n Wild Color Icon Might I Buy You a Drink. It's too light for me. Um, the Color Icon Shade Shifting Blush. I do not like the way this looks on the skin. Um, and then I've got an e.l.f. Contour Palette and a Sleek Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette in Light 373. Oh, the dreaded highlight drawer. Okay, so I'm just... I'm just going to do my thing and look at the stuff and decide what I want to keep. This is painful, but she stays. Oh, oh, she's a mess. No, 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 no. So I've got a few to declutter. I have the Mac Mariah Carey uh, highlighter. This we featured on an episode of the Makeup Breakup 100 years ago and it's fallen apart. This is another one that was on the Makeup Breakup. It's the Smashbox of Ladder one. It's currently falling apart. They can both go. Um, I have Mary Luminizer. Look, I've got fucking makeup everywhere. Disgusting. Get off. Um, Mary Luminizer, I actually have this in a little palette. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass that on because it's brand new. Someone can use it. I also have an e.l.f. highlighter here. It's a shimmering highlight powder in Sunset Glow. So that's just a gold shade. I've got plenty. Um, and I'm also gonna get rid of the e.l.f. Uh, illuminating palette. The Zoeva Spring Strobe Spectrum palette. So this is the one... They brought out ages ago. It's got the different colored highlighters. It's pretty, but I don't need it. Um, Davina Cosmetics. This was another one on the Makeup Breakup. This is Unicorn Sweat, I think. Um, I'm just not going to use it. Then I have the Mecca Cosmetica Enlightened Lip From Within Illuminating Balm. I think they've discontinued that. I'm going to get rid of one of these incredible um, iridescent jellies. These are really pretty. I do like them, but I just don't think I'm going to wear this shade. It is in Flocking Fabulous. Ciate Dewy Sticks. Not really a fan of the formula and Physician's Formula, but a highlighter in Rose Gold. It's too dark for me. Last little bit that I'm going to do for this video is this drawer. So this is sort of my everyday makeup drawer. I've got my Project Pan stuff here. These are, well, that's not, um, and these are, look, these are sort of makeup samples and things that um, I want to pan, like there's some lip liners, lip products, stuff like that. Um, 
I just chuck them in there so I can use them. Everything here is fine. It can all stay as it is. Um, I really want to tackle what's back here. So these are mascaras. I'm going to dig into these ones. Okay, I need to get this shit out of the drawer because I need the space. Um, I've got two lip scrubs here. I've got one from, is it Shara Shara? Yes, Shara Shara. So that's a kissing sugar lip scrub. And this one's from, um, it's an Aldi brand. I bought it years ago, never used it. Uh, they're old, I'm getting rid of them. Mascaras, I'm getting rid of the Stella Huge Extreme Lash, uh, the Laviot Wine Angle Mascara, this Bobbi Brown one, the Smoky Eye Mascara, she is dried up, um, and the CoverGirl Lash Blast Active. This is a nice one if you've got nice long lashes and you just want something to sort of tint them. More brow products. Um, this is pretty much the last, actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of these quick flicks as well because I just don't use them and I probably won't. Um, I think the rest can stay for now. Um, I'm going to go through these brow doodads. I'm actually going to hold on to all of those brow products. There is one goof proof in there. It's 3.5. Um, I want to play with it more. I know I've used it and it's not too bad. So I'm going to hold on to that. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm happy. I think I'm pretty happy. There's 81 products in this basket. Uh, that's a lot better than I thought it would be. So I'm super, super pleased with that. Um, good buy products that I just don't want to use. All right, I'm calling it there. Um, the next video I'll do lipsticks and palettes. I don't, I don't know how that's going to go. Probably not going to be 81 products that I get rid of, but we'll see. Uh, keep an eye out for that in a few days. It'll be up. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. There's a cat for you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.